so I'm running a little late to my friend's son's birthday party. Both these kids is knocked out in a car. I don't want to wake Shiloh up. Xavier woke up from his little nap. I guess he was tired. He took a nap. But I don't want to wake this boy up because I don't want him screaming and attitude so bad and him ruining this little, this little boy's birthday party. It was my best friend's son because that attitude is crazy when you wake him up from his nap. Anyways, y'all, I wanted to talk about Tia and Tamara. So, this is my take on it. I think was separate. She says that they're not. Tia says that they're not that close anymore, her and Tamara. I guess she got a new reality show that's coming out. I may check it out um, and see, you know, what her new life is about now that she's divorced. Um, I think what's separating them is their beliefs. That's what I think the separation is. Um, Tamara is a believer in Christ, like I. She believes in Christ. Um, she always quotes in scripture in the Bible. It's obvious on her um, Instagram page. Um, she's talked about her belief in Christ. Um, she's... Um, I haven't gotten her book yet, but she spoke about what her beliefs are. I know enough to know that Tia doesn't believe because I've watched her interviews. And she said in one interview, I forgot what podcast she was on, but she said she's got a broad perspective. She likes to try, you know, different cultures and stuff like that. But let me tell you, if one believe in Christ and one don't, eventually it's going to be a separation. It's going to be a separation. And um, she even said that their parents and styles is different. And of course, the parents and styles is going to be different because the beliefs are going to be different. Um, I honestly feel like Tia is going through a midlife crisis. Like, I believe that could have been a problem in her marriage, too. Because I've been on Corey's lives, and he's always talking about God. And he's talking about the God that I worship and serve because he be talking about scripture that's in the Bible. So I'm confused on how that marriage even lasted that long with Tia not having the same beliefs as him. You know, you have to be equally yoked while you're married. And not for nothing, but every time you turn around, she was doing some Beyonce TikTok. And y'all gonna learn to stop listening to that woman's music to stop looking at her stuff let me tell you i don't take nothing away from beyonce's talent i take nothing away from it it was a very talented woman very beautiful on the outside absolutely but on that inside her spirit is not and she worships satan and has shown it so many times if you watch her music videos it's so much proof to show that Beyonce is deep rooted in Satan. Is God has even spoken to me about it? He asked me to stop listening to her music. I don't listen to her music at all. Um. So, you know. So, but I am don't like to see sisters split up. I'm definitely gonna be praying for T and Tamara to work on their their um relationship you know them to become close again we also got to keep tia in our prayers because it's obvious she's a non-believer so we want to keep her in prayer so that she can get saved and go to heaven and um you know just keep them both in prayer i don't know if she should have talked about it on her show but hey it's her reality show it's her reality her and her sisters don't are not that close so I just think social media is going to get a hold of it and, and it may end up being worse than the whatever wedge they have may end up being um, worse than what it is but that's all I want to say they're both beautiful I love them both and I'm wishing the best for both of them and most of all I'm hoping that Tia gives her life to Christ and stop searching in these other religions it's just Satan with a mask on and these other religions when you take all the covers off that's who you're gonna see 
Anyways, I love you guys. Have a blessed one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Keep them in your prayers. Bye.